What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp architectural extension video for you. So we're continuing our series on great architectural extensions inside of SketchUp. These are extensions that have applications inside the field of architecture. So in today's video we're going to check out an extension that allows us to quickly create glass assemblies inside of our models without having to go in and model those manually. To get my free list of all the extensions including the link to this one, make sure you download the free architecture extensions guide at the sketchpresentals.com slash architecture extensions. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so in this video, we're going to check out Lattice Maker. Lattice Maker is an extension from TIG that allows us to quickly create commercial style windows inside of our SketchUp models. So what that means is it basically creates windows that have a frame and then a window piece in them. They're not operable windows as much as they're windows that basically they're like storefront or curtain wall windows. So they just have kind of a fixed frame and then the glass inside of them. This is a free extension and again, you can get the link to that in the architecture extensions guide. The way that Lattice Maker works is it basically will take a face and it will take that face and it will create a piece of glass or a window from it. So in order to do that, all you have to do is select a face, run the extension, and then you can dictate to it the width of the frame as well as the depth of the whole assembly. So in this case, I have a six inch exterior wall. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can also set the pane inset and the thickness of the glass. So I'm going to set my pane inset to three inches and I'm going to leave my pane thickness as is. And one thing you can do is you can also dictate the material that's applied both to the lattice or the frame as well as the pane. So in this case, the pane would be the glass material inside of SketchUp. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and you can see how that quickly adds in this window inside of this building. So if I look on the inside, you can see how this offset the frame through here, and then it created the glass piece in here as well. And the glass actually has a thickness to it inside of this model, which one great thing about this is if you look at it from the top down, and we'll probably want to turn our section fills off for this one, but if we look at this from the top down, and we turn our perspective off so we get a parallel projection. You can see how this is going to show up nicely if we export this to layout as an actual window in here. So that's an extra bonus of this extension is this is going to look really good if we export this to layout. And so we'll go back to our perspective view and delete this out. And so another cool thing about this extension is it will basically offset any or it will create a lattice across any faces you select. So if you decide this, you want this to be a double window, you could just split this face and then come in here and run it again. Same thickness, same pane material. You can see how it's really easy to add windows in here for multiple faces as well. And so one workflow for me that I use for this is I like to cut the holes for the windows before I create them with Lattice Maker. So because this extension doesn't cut, meaning if I was to run this on this face right here, so if I was to run this on this face right here, you can see how it would add the glass, but it wouldn't cut a hole in this face. So you would have to come back in on the back side and just open this up. So I like to go ahead and cut that opening before I get started because it's really easy to just draw a box across this face and then run the extension to create my windows. And one thing that I've always found really time consuming when working in SketchUp is coming in here and trying to create all of those windows manually. So I really love that you can do this really quickly using this extension. You can see how I could create one of these and then use the move tool in copy mode to create a couple copies over here. And so the nice thing about this is this doesn't just work on square shapes, it really works on whatever kind of face you can select. So let's say for example that I was to split this into four faces, this would work on any of these or all of these faces at once. So you don't have to come in here and do each one of these individually, you could do them all as once to quickly create like a glass face across here. And if you wanted to create something a little more complex, it's just as simple as splitting those faces. So like for example, It's just as easy to create glass with all of these faces as it was to create with just the four over here. And so I really like the amount of time 
time this can save you not having to go in and do each one of these faces on their own. And so there's also some interesting applications for this. Like for example, let's say that we wanted to create a, a piece of glass running all the way across here. All I would have to do is just move this face or move a line down to split this face like this. And then we could just select this face and run Lattice Maker in order to create glass across here. So this is really helpful for those commercial glass applications or the glass applications where you have mullions that are holding a glass pane inside of them. So remember the link to download this free extension can be found in the architecture extensions guide, which I have linked to in the notes down below. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Do you like this extension? Have you been using it? Are there features that you'd like to see in it? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.